Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. In today's course on flood maps, we're going to talk about what these different colors mean. Mean. So, as you can see right here, you can see a picture of an actual flood map. So, on this picture, what you're seeing are some different colors. So let's talk about what those colors mean. First of all, let's just talk about the solid color blue. Generally, this identifies what's called a required flood zone area. What we're talking about here are flood zone A's, flood zone V's, things like that. Then you might see a shaded area, like shaded blue. These are what's called floodways. This is usually where the overflow of the water is from. Now, traditionally, these didn't have an impact on flood insurance premiums, but now with risk rating 2.0, Floodways could have a big impact on flood insurance premiums. They already have on the private side. Now with the National Flood Insurance Program, that distance to water could have a big impact there. So now you may see a gray area or a browned out area. These are your non-required areas. This is where flood insurance is not going to be required. Still recommended, but from a federal standpoint, it's not going to be required. So these are some of the different colors. So here's a question we get. Hey, the house is not in the blue, but the land is. Is flood insurance going to be required by the bank, even if the entire parcel is in that blue area? Now, in order to get a letter of map amendment done, remember this is where your flood zone has changed, your structure's gotta be removed from that high-risk flood area. So these are what the different colors on this flood map means. <laughs> 